Hello everyone, today I want to show you another steel. It's a continuous waste motor oil distiller and it's processing waste motor oil, automatic transmission fluids. Here, here we've got some, some oil and we're pumping it into the steel. Just only started to run, still adjusting, but anyway currently running at 100, 358 degrees set up to 363 here's a production we've got over here you can see it over here The unit actually set to the temperature that allows to produce the highest possible quality of the diesel fraction or base oil. So you can see, I hope you can see, I can't see anything because of sun and it's glare on the screen so I can't see it anywhere, I can see it over here. Now it's about 6 to 10 liters per hour. I'll try to increase the production a bit later. Now it's still sort of priming the unit because it's filled up with good used oil and I need this used oil to be pushed out by the bitumen. And once we're gonna get bitumen so I would say the steel is primed and ready to produce high amounts of, of the oil. Anyway, now running at 361 degrees. There's a lot of flies, for some reason flies really attracted to the distilled oil. The smell probably. The unit is not smoking at all. I would, I would, I would say almost not smoking but it's still priming so I increased the temperature by 413 degrees and the running temperature right now is 396 degrees Celsius uh, it sounds to settle down no more speeding I just adjusted the a supply flow over here I've been running too much uh, it's still filling up with some bitumen and here you can see the vapors getting condensed it's quite hot over here so the whole vapor is supposed to be condensed over here so it sounds like we're leaking a little bit not leaking it's just vapor going through but is the main catcher and here you can see the flow of the lighter fraction. I'll check it, it's uh, more like a kerosene over here. It's not a petrol, it's more like a kerosene fraction. It's really clear. For now, maybe, maybe later it will oxidize a little bit, but I will clean it up and check. Probably it's going to be one of the components of the diesel fuel. Here we've got one stream, and over here we've got another stream. It's a actual production. actual production of our base oil or diesel fraction it will still require some treatment it looks like it's clean but it's not this type of distillates 
they prone to oxidation will get darker later on but we'll clean it up make a good clean fuel for our car diesel engine and we'll use it once again it's a test run of the steel this steel is long overdue you may see it in on the background of my other uh, in my other videos it's sitting there and there just occupying the space sorry now sorry for the camera I can't see what I'm actually shooting because there's sun and it's reflecting the screen is reflecting anyway it's running good stable and relatively clean Sounds like not really fast, but again, there's a two streams. They use oil cut into streams. We've got one stream over here. They're approximately equal to. We'll just check. Wow, I just almost smashed it. We'll check the production speed over here. Oh, oh it's just. The wider was uh, catcher was overfilled and it spits everything out. Can you see it? I hope you can see it. Yeah, it's over here. As you can see, it's not as clean as it looks like. It will require some clean up processing treatment anyway there's a two streams there's a fuel Whew, it smells not that awful but some character smell Now again, the running temperature is 405, 406, it's a production flow, now I will try to increase the supply flow and see how it will affect the temperature and production rate. Now I increase the supply rate, supply flow. Here we've got a light fraction coming out. And let's check the main fraction. It's a main fraction. Also, I've added the oil that's been pushed out of the steel after priming. That's been pushed out of the steel into the metal container. I added it into the supply container, so nothing going to waste. And running it right now. And the temperature uh, is set up to 413 and it fluctuates between 407 
down to 403 and it's actually determined by the work or setting of this particular device and unit having some sort of inertia anyway so when it shuts down and there's a oil supply it cools it down it's dropping below the setting and then it steadily starts to gain the temperature now we've got it 403 over here and I believe we will in will get it increased now it's just still dropping down but anyway let's focus on production rate here's our production something like that so again his unit And it's a continuous waste motor oil distillation unit. I would say it's sort of glorified reformer that I used to build some time ago. It's running okay. It's relatively simple. And it's much simpler than the units that, that I built for production of or processing of uh, waste motor oil like waste motor oil distillers those things they have in a column this one haven't got any column it's got some sort of internal tray catching all the vapors just inside and then we can collect it outside something like that here we are This is our second stream of the light fraction. And here's our mainstream. The unit going fine, running at currently at 411 degrees. Just want to try to show you a double stream production. So we've got the first line and it's the second one. Going absolutely good.
Yeah, the unit is not as fast as the previous one with 24 liter per hour, but that one produces much cleaner fuel that will require less chemicals and time to process. So it's going approximately 15 liters per hour altogether. So this is it, thanks a lot for watching, see you next time.